A drive along Kansas back roads often yields a surprise, and today it was a herd of pronghorns in Barber County's Gypsum Hills. Pronghorns, once common throughout the western three-quarters of Kansas, disappeared with settlement. But a restoration program started in 1964 brought them back to the state. Now about 2,000 pronghorns range the western tiers of Kansas counties. Designated hunting units there provide recreation and help manage pronghorn numbers. Following through the early 1990s, pronghorns were also reintroduced into the Gypsum Hills and Flint Hills areas of Kansas. These eastern attempts never became established as hoped. Pronghorns rely on terrific eyesight and unobstructed views to help escape danger. Fences, tall grass, excessive tree and brush cover, and undulating topography made it harder for pronghorns to avoid predation than farther west. But even so, today small populations exist at these locations. It's been 44 years since 61 Colorado pronghorns were released in Barber County. Since, they seem to dwindle away from the usual places they were often seen. In recent years, spotting even two or three pronghorns seemed a rare sighting in Barber County. But this unexpected find in a remote place shows that a modest herd still remains. Nineteen animals were present, and according to a local rancher, as many as 35 pronghorns live in this small area. A few other pronghorns are present in the county as well. That's good news. Kansas restoration success stories include wild turkeys, river otters, and elk. Pronghorns can be included, though success has been limited to western counties. Watch for them. The pronghorn is a unique species to North America and part of our state's prairie heritage. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.